I'm not gonna lie. This video was supposed to be a promotion for Lost the Scaling because I was legitimately amazed how it was able to make my Steam Deck run games that it had problems running before. What? But as I continued to use it, I started to encounter weird issues to the point that I asked myself if I really need it. Let's discuss in this video my experience with lossless gaming and what you can expect if you're looking to use it on your Steam Deck. Let's go! Just to be clear, this video aims to reflect my overall experience with the software and the issues that I had while I was using it. It shouldn't discourage you from trying it out yourself, especially if you have a valid reason, but know that you might run into the same issues that I have. One final note is that if you'll be using lossless scaling on your Steam Deck, you need to install Windows and run it from there. It's not yet compatible with SteamOS. Well, that's sad. With that out of the way, let's start the video. If you're unfamiliar with it, Lossless Scaling is an application that allows your device to implement frame generation technology such as AMD FSR on any games. It's currently available on Steam, however, it's not for free. You sleazy son of a the way you use it is very simple. You need to open Lossless Scaling alongside the game you're trying to upscale. The game should be on windowed mode or borderless windowed mode or else this will not work. Once the game is running, switch to lossless scaling, choose a scaling type, pick LSFG as your frame generation option, then press the scale button then quickly switch to your game window. You can enable the draw FPS option so that it's more obvious when the application is already scaling your game. I did some tests and noticed that while it definitely helped my deck to run some modern games, the graphical preset you choose still matters. Huh? What the fuck are you talking about, man? At medium settings, the application allowed me to run my games in 60 FPS consistently. Oh wow, that's great, that's great. Well, based on its FPS counter, but more on that later. At high settings is where you'll see some dips and weird issues are starting to come out. Well, that's good news. Now, some of these are not lossless gaining's problem. Some of these issues are on the Steam Deck and its current compatibility with Windows, but I just thought that with lossless scaling and its benefits, I'll be able to overlook the downsides of switching to Windows from SteamOS and finally play my Xbox Game Pass library. Damn it! However, a lot of the deck's issues with Windows is giving me a hard time to stay in this operating system. Just look at this gameplay I got for Monster Hunter World. The game is literally freezing and it took a while before it became stable. Even with lossless scaling, the game still stuttered hard and it took a while to load the environment. At the end of the day, I went back to SteamOS. Until the Steam Deck improves its compatibility with Windows or lossless scaling becoming compatible with SteamOS, I don't think I can sacrifice the performance and battery life that I should have with my Steam games. Oh, that's disappointing. What do you think? Maybe I'm missing out on something, or is there something that I can do to improve my Windows experience on my Steam Deck? 
or am I just using lossless scaling wrong? Please sound off your comments in the comment section and while you're here, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell button. Thanks for watching the video. Bye!